Okay, today is Tuesday, the 18th of August, 2009. Do you remember when, you remember 2000? You know, what's it, Y2K, was that it? Was that it, right? Shake your head yes, don't you? Y2K, you remember all the hubbub? It's been nine years since then. Oh, oy vey. So anyway, now yesterday I talked about some of the writers on the project, uh, on the album, and, and I mentioned that we'd cut 15 tracks, and somebody kind of sent me a message and said, oh, uh, what are tracks? Well, we've cut 15 songs, and basically tracks referred to basic tracks, except for we've done more than just basic tracks. There's a lot of solos on, uh, there's some overdubs, a lot of keyboard overdubs and things like that. And so I'm just going to talk to you about some of the people that played on the record. One of the people that played on the record and contributed big to the record, Justin Hawkins from the band The Darkness. In fact, almost all of the writers that I mentioned yesterday are all artists. And that's, that makes a huge difference to a project. Um, Rick Brantley, James Michael, Sean McConnell, they're all artists in their own right. They go and they play and they perform and they get out there and sweat and, and groove. And uh, so Justin Hawkins from The Darkness was on the, uh, he played guitar on a song that he also co-wrote with Eric, what's his name? Say it out loud, you can talk behind. Man, man Eric, Mend, 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 I forgot his last name, but it starts with an M. How's that? But I just nicknamed him D'Artagnan. And so, um, and some of the other people that were on there, Paul Crook, Randy Flowers, John Michelli, Chasm Sultan, um, uh, Chris Cheney, uh, Jamie, Jamie Mulvey. Ooh, how do you say his name? Say Mahoberak. It. Jamie Mahoberak. Hey, come on. I can't be held responsible for not being able to re pronounce that. Mahoberak. Mahoberak. Ooh, Mahoberak. Come on over, baby. So anyway, those are some of the people. Now, Brian Mays played. Uh, who else has played? Then we had James Michael sang. Uh, Justin sang. Rob Cavallo even sang on some. Uh, we've already done some backgrounds. Patty's come in, sang some backgrounds. And, and uh, somebody said, I wonder if there's a, a duet on the right. There is, and Patty and I have started that. We're going to finish it on September the 8th because we were missing some lyrics from one of the writers, Greg Becker, but he has now contributed back, and they're fantastic. And so we'll finish that up. And um, so yesterday uh, I started on vocals for real, and I, I started on a, a song, If I Can't Have You, and then I moved over to another song. And, um, and so we just have a lot of uh, contributors and a lot of contributors to come. And so for the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to be doing vocals, then coming back, we start doing background vocals, and I'm going back to vocals. And then after October the 10th, the 5th, this is Angus, by the way. For those of you who don't know, this is Angus. Hi, Angus. Say hi. Okay, never mind. So anyway, uh, then after October the 10th, the fairy dust starts happening, and somewhere I'm predicting we'll start mixing around November the 10th and have a record done, and, and then you're all going, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? When's it coming out? Not going to tell. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to edit this into the end because I left out an important part of the band that played on the record, Tim Pierce, guitar player, and I didn't want to leave that out. So you'll get that little wobbly, 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 and all of a sudden I'm going to go with edited Tim Pierce, and, and then I'll end with, and this is McKenna.